most dangerous podcast. We go be in the building with the good guys. It was. It was fun. I think Ken was going down, man. Let's get it. Good. Let's do it. Hondo up in this field. Hondo. F to the R to the S to the H to the O to the U to the T, that fresh ass. Take care of back in the building. Very part of the show. Ring the bell, What's baby. Goody, man? What's going He's down, back. man? Hey, hey, hold up, man. We got the whole joint. That John Blaze going crazy, man. We back in the building, man. Salute, Johnny man. Blaze and the dang thing. Come on, change. man. I know what it is. Come right. on, man. That might be one of the illest uh, posse joints, man, too, man. Hey, right. Straight up and you know down. what it is, man. Special content, man. You know what it is, man. J Camp back in the States, man. Had to take Diddy across season, bro. You know what I'm saying? To get it right. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know where Diddy's oh, at. You know what I'm saying? Ask Jay Camper. Right. You know what I'm saying? Jay Camp was goody, man. man. With the uh, vacay and the bull was goody. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man. Man, that's, that's, off, that's off the chain, though. <laughs> Talk about we yeah, dropped man. Diddy off. <laughs> yeah, man. It's like this fucking straight. It's been a block with Diddy. Y'all didn't know where he's at, right. man. He might be. Uh, with, with Russell. Russell. Louisville, yeah, he might be up in there, <laughs> joint, man. Salute, yeah, he might be up in there. Oh, Jay Camp was goodie though, man. Nothing. Got the red on, so man. Oh man, oh, man. <laughs> silly. I'm good. Got that though, Diddy love red on. Yep. Yeah, man. Oh yeah, that Diddy red. Yeah, that's straight <laughs> red, dog. That love album, dog. Music to bang to, dog. Stop. Uh, Bebo P was yeah. goodie though, man. Hey, man. Hey, salute that's, that's for Iceberg. Yeah. That's music for his foes. You know what I'm saying? Nah, man, <laughs> man, we stay, Run we around stay in the back with the switch, Doc. Run nah. around the back. You better get a foe, girl. Man. <laughs> go back in the, go back in the van. Give me a soda pop. <laughs> hey man, what's good, though, man? What's good, people? Hey B-O-P? man, uh, glad to be the fearsome threesome with Jay Camp back in the building mm-hmm. and uh, feeling better than Kim Kardashian from recently getting dumped by Odell Beckham. What's good with you, Iceberg? Come on oh, now, man, what's good? He want that gene pool yeah, dip? Come on, man. Oh, oh, yeah, we're trying to dip that gene pool, man. That's good. A, that's this is thing, man. Iceberg. They can that's do everything they can with Dr. Miami, Doc. But you can't get the you can't get the innards. You know what I'm saying? Come on, let's be clear. <laughs> Not them innards. <laughs> them innards stuff. Can't get it, man. You can't do it. You uh, up, man. They, they, never the hey. innards. <laughs> y'all hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't yet. We please, appreciate please. y'all for rocking with the bad boys of this hip hop space. Man, the on, world's most clear. dangerous podcast, Rap City, no basement. What is good with y'all? Hey, Salute man. to the people. Hey man, like I said, folks. man, uh Camper been out, man. We've been holding it down, man. But uh Hey, like I said, we got a little dope little pregame, you know what I'm saying? Salute to the Hype Magazine, too. Uh, We're going to be on the Salute. Roku channel, man. Salute. Hopefully, this gets them played on there. Pimp Salute squad, to Dr. Jerry, baby. man. Jay, just Jay. Yeah. You know how it goes down the whole fam, mm-hmm. man. All right. Uh, but this is the thing, man. Speaking of family. Turn this music off. The nigga can't even rest in peace. Kobe Bryant, our nigga, L.A. Lakers. Come mm. on, man. You know what I'm Long saying? Ready. Dan the Laker fan. Salute Empire salute to TV, yeah, You know man, what I'm saying? Man. Empire Jeff, about, man. Salute, yeah, man. To man, the people, man. Salute our family, man. Over, let's be clear. Already. Uh, Kobe Bryant, man. Mm. His daddy and his mama, Jelly Bean, selling the rings. Oh, let me play this real quick, man. This real quick. Hold on. Fair use. For an online auction, yeah. this championship ring from LA's 2000 title isn't one of the original ones granted to the players, but a copy that was made for Kobe Bryant's dad, Joe Bryant. It was made upon Kobe's request as a gift to his dad, who also played in the NBA from 1975 to 1983, bidding currently sitting around $54,000. The online elite sports auction wraps up on March the 31st. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more people, people. Uh, no, <laughs> Iceberg's <laughs> uncle. No, that's all Iceberg. Nope. <laughs> With Wrong that, again, look at the hairline of dude. Hold on, look at this. Right. Look at Paul's dude. Look at this uh, nigga's hairline. Uh, You'll never find. Uh, blown, 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 blown. A hairline <laughs> like <laughs> mine. Uh, he do look like a. It do like Walter and Wallace Scott's brother though, don't it? With the wicked no, too. Hold on, you look like a nigga. Who that nigga with that little puppet dog with Lester? Steady, steady, rocking all night long. We need to rock. Hold on, what was that? Who the who the? 
not twins. Twins. <laughs> no. That was, that was the twins. Uh-uh. Hold on. Who was not that? Not with uh, that. Oh, God. No, God. <laughs> who, who was the twins, man? What was we they called? We begin to rock. Mm-mm. No. <laughs> the, the rock steady joint, man. Who, nah. what, was the, what was the name of that group? Whispers. That's the Whispers. Yeah, the Whispers. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yep. but, yeah he looked like a dude that had the Lester <laughs> doll, too, though, man. Remember that little Lester dude, man? That had the little doll. <laughs> No, but yeah, definitely, man. That that uh, that's rock steady though. Come oh, on, man. Scott oh. brothers, man. <laughs> Steve, yeah, speaking, but speaking of rock steady though, man, how you gonna steal the rock from Kobe though and try to auction it off? Jay Kemp, like, is this like a, a dis- uh, we gonna do it despite you, even in the grave, my nigga? Or is this they don't have no bread? Hey, bro, I think they ain't got no bread. Damn. Man. Let's just call it, call it, <laughs> call it what it is, fam. Damn. I think this is a bread play, man. They need some at Brady Kruger. Mm. So, could it just seem too desperate? Like, why would you throw Bean's ring? Well, it's a copy, but still, but that, that's like the sentimental joint, though. Yeah, right. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, I, I feel like there had to be something else of value. If you're struggling like that, I mean, maybe they don't have a good relationship with Vanessa, bro. Because you would think. Cause she's getting that bread, <laughs> dude. She, like she, dude. She sold off uh, the uh, body armor. Yeah, she yeah. got the bread from uh, Nike. Uh, something Nike. else she sold too. She sold something else that he yeah. had too. Doc. Yeah, you can still yeah. hit the ching anyway. Oh, hold on. Well, hit the and she started like a little business in, yeah. in Mamba's name too. So, mm. I mean. It, to me, it's obvious the parents don't have a good relationship with him. And I, again, I could be wrong. I mean, this is speculation on my part. This is this is. I'm not saying this is fact. I'm speculating, <laughs> but it it would appear to me that mm. the fam got an issue yeah. with Vanessa mm. because you would think like Vanessa would would have deaded that. Like if there was even a thought. Yeah, just passing the rock, passing the bread. Like, yeah, hey, I like, know y'all like, hurting, bro. You know, here's two. You give it, I mean? give it to the to the seeds. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, facts. Give it ring, leave it ring for the seeds, man. Like they was like, no. Cause even Bean's sister, you would think that all them like on dead. Yeah, that. they all straight. Yeah, they good. Like, but I think them parents, Bebo P. Might be on that struggle bus a little bit, bro. Mm. Might be some, mm-hmm. might be some outstanding joints. Dang, you're right. Car payment, uh, alternator gone. A little too liberal with the with the bank account. You know what I mean? Man, this ain't the first time that uh, Pam and Joe Bryant sold or attempted to sell off their son's son Kobe's NBA memorabilia. Man, I mean, I don't know if y'all remember, but Kobe had a strained relationship with his folks like several years back, and Kobe mm. had to unfortunately yeah. sue his own mom yeah. and dad Damn. for selling off Black Mamba's uh, championship mm-hmm. rings, high school yep. uniforms, and stuff back in like. 2013 or somewhere around about there and i believe kobe won that lawsuit and his parents did like a a public apology from that which Mm -hmm. we clearly see today in 2024 that apology from his parents was cow dung bull jive but nonetheless it really just goes to show how some toxic habits with certain people just never change and which is even more sad uh, when it comes from your immediate family by way of mm. your parents in this case. And yeah. I don't even care how much a parent does or doesn't favor their offspring, it, you know, given what we're talking about. I think it's highly disrespectful to sell off valuable accolades that your mm. son and or yeah. daughter shed blood, sweat, and tears or just all around effort mm. to earn. Uh, and not for themselves, but for, you know, their family, you know, and the, their loved ones and so forth. I don't. So I wouldn't even care if you're flat broke as mom and dad or whatever family member and needed some money. I mean, you just don't sell off your child's memorabilia for the love of money. No, That'll go no. faster than it comes in oh. Pam and Joe's case. But uh, right. Uh, your well, and this is the thing, Diddy. though, too, though, Bebo P, though, said, and Diddy. J. Kent. <laughs> That's a no. And everybody Diddy, in really. the chat. First of all, salute everybody in the chat, man. Watch this, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, we got a little pregame for y'all, man. Hold it down, yeah, man, for yeah, Easter, salute. man, before y'all basically feed all the little niggly bears coming up to your house trying to eat for free, <laughs> drinking up all the drinks. Um, all the pig feet. All the pig feet. All the hog <laughs> maw. Y'all going to eat everything up in this joint. Right, right. All the pig feet, the hog maw. Doesn't it say that Kobe didn't leave him in the wheel? 
or they are used up all the bread. Well, I think, you know, there was a strained relationship for a long time. I remember, like, you know, during uh, the latter several years of Kobe's life, I mean, he, he was – he was holding his family down, even his sisters financially, to okay. the point where they was grifting. Yeah. Uh, right. And they were really Damn. trying to, you know, come into their own. Pause and no Diddy again. So, um, you know, you have that situation to where he realized, hey, you know, you got to, you know, sometimes place boundaries as, you know, needed. And mm -hmm. I don't know about the will situation, but we clearly see that the grift is afoot and that mm -hmm. this move of selling off that copied <sighs> ring that copy championship ring was disrespectful, but you got a camper from here. No, b you said it beautifully, bro. I mean, that strained relationship, and you know how it is, man, when you got a little bread in your pocket, you try to help somebody in the fam out, and they basically just piss all that away Dang, because they do right. some grimy stuff, you know Damn. what I'm saying? Because they think it's coming back. Oh, because I can get another I get, I get like, another quarter from, you know what I'm saying, eight I ball. guarantee right. you it was like a debt or something that, when well, I don't want to say guarantee, I'm speculating here again, that Bing paid off some debts, you know what I'm saying, Cle cleared off some stuff. Yeah, got him back to zero. And then what we say, Bebo P, that grimy thing happened where they was already trying to sell some memorabilia. This yep. is why the man was living. <laughs> you know what I'm that's saying? Cra Dude, that's yeah. crazy. Yeah. That's that, crazy, that's... man. For you to even say you... that, man, I'm like, while he was living? Damn. And when you got to sue your own parents, like, that's wow. deep. That's it deep. It really is. It really, and really that, I'm is. And that's what this is. This was a situation where they was cut a long time ago. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Now they struggling. Like, they, they don't have, there's no palm. You know what I'm saying? So now you want to sell your son's ring. It's crazy, though. And, and basically, and capitalize off not only his passing, but his fame, like, at the right. same time. You know what I'm saying? Right. That, that's what, you doubling down on it. You know what I'm right. saying? Because you know it's worth more now, which is the sad part. Hey, man, do y'all do think uh, Vanessa should have or may have already hollered at her and said, hey, you know, what y'all doing, man? You know what I'm saying? Y'all going to sell my husband's bull? You know what I'm saying? Like, let me buy it from y'all and give y'all the bread. You think she did that? And she was like, you know what? Or they don't even talk to each other. You think it's just whatever. Know, you know what I'm saying? Because it's really, I mean, they're not going to make that much bread off of it. Let's be clear. No, it's not no yeah. a publisher's clearinghouse type bull. You're like making $20 well, million off of it. I think due to the lack of relationship there, and also Vanessa's like, look, we got the real thing over here. Mm, right. We got that right. real joint. Y'all go ahead and do what you want. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> with their fool's gold. <laughs> you go ahead and do what you want with that. Not saying, I mean, it's the 14, but it ain't like the real the real thing, though. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. It, ain't, it, ain't the, it ain't the panky ring, the king's ring joint. Panky. It ain't that. Already. So Already. I don't really think Vanessa's like tripping over that. And I think if it's me, I'm going to just let them look silly. Let them look stupid. Yeah, facts, yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because you charging crackhead prices, too, <laughs> for that ring. Like, get out of here with that. That was prime. <laughs> right. <laughs> can I, can I That's, get... it's, a, it's definitely a crack move. Let's, <laughs> let's be clear. Can I, can That's I a shit, crack can... move. <laughs> yeah, it's a crackhead move, bro. It is, though. And <laughs> Take I can ring off. You married to the dope, nigga. Man. Like, you see a crackhead pushing up, trying to push a piano. <laughs> Out the door. <laughs> to, oh to sell it. You, you're the crackhead that's running with the TV or whatever on Friday <laughs> on the sidewalk. Yeah, he's there, though. He's right. there, yeah. go. Yeah. I'm trying to take a shit. The big right, boy right. TV at that. Yeah. Right. Big back. He was gone, too. Big back joint. Say what I mean. That big back TV. Man. You know, he was on the back, big hey, back man, too. He was ball. If the 90s, you had that big back TV, your family oh, was, was no good. Pity, Real man. Too. Man, yeah, you man. already know you was living good. Hey, man. Speaking of living good, man. Uh, I talk about our brother Big Sean Detroit stand up. Salute. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Salute, Had the baby with uh, Shorty Doo Wop. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Finally bagged her too. You know what I'm saying? Miss salute. Janae. Yeah. Janae Okra. Uh, okra. <laughs> <Just name. laughs> put, put on that Janae Okra. Yeah, that's good. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> uh, speaking of Big right. Sean, though, first of all, let's be clear. I was just listening to that Replace Me dog on that Nas joint. He murdered that joint. You know, let's be clear. Got the Nas, yeah. got, on, got the feature, uh, on, featured on the Nas joint, Hit Boy record. So, of course, man, we ain't heard him in a minute. You know what I'm saying? He been there with that baby. 
Yeah, and the last time we heard him was on that Larry June and Alchemist joint. Yeah, killed that uh, joint yeah. too. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, that single. Yeah, yeah, he, he yeah, was nice. You know what I'm saying? He yeah. almost like an L.A. cat now. You know, he, he, he ain't uh, seen Detroit bull. He been in L.A. But he drops a little single <laughs> joint. I'm feeling the little joint, you know, whatever. But it, we gotta look at Big Sean because Big Sean, remember, uh, he tried to put himself in that category that we're gonna be talking about that. Big three, you know what I'm saying? He tried to put him in the big three. We ain't talking about no Ford and a Chevy and all that. Born Dodge, we talking about Kenny, you know what I'm saying? Drizzy, you know what I'm saying? Aubrey Graham and that J. Cole. So we got to look at the bars a certain way. And he sampled 3 6 Mafia. Let me play this real quick. First of all, I do try to look like uh, Bebo P with his shirt off. Him. Go on the trigger like. Grandma was in there, auntie was in there, mama had triple A. Hey, I'm going to give you a little, little more. Hold on. Fair use, man. Mm -hmm. Big Sean in the house. Fair use. You know what I'm saying? Fair use, fair Big use, Sean. Fair use, fair uh, use. She was Detroit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, salute big time. Hey man, this thing that we gotta put. Mm -hmm. this, this is why they pay us the big bucks, man. We just we not fanboys over here. We gotta break the bars. That's why they. That's why they pay Iceberg for sure. Oh yeah, you already know. <laughs> What's you guys' thoughts on Precision, the comeback single from Big Sean, Detroit? J. Camp, man, what you thinking, man, on this one? Uh, got the 3-6 Mafia, little inspired joint, you know what I'm saying? That's that popping my collar. Mm -hmm. uh, ever since I've been, you know, been yep. popping my collar. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's, that's our, that's our slang. I, I, what's, I'm probably, what's your thoughts, though? I'm probably going to sound like a hater, and Ooh. that's okay. So y'all feel Kent free. Is a hater. To, oh, absolutely on this one. Feel free to push back. Mm -mm. It's not that homie didn't slide on this one. Pause. Mm -hmm. Joke Diddy. Okay. He slid on it. But I feel like this is something I've heard before, though. This don't this don't mm. sound any different from a J. Cole joint or from some mm. of them Drizzy joints, like when Drizzy actually feels like rapping. You know what I'm saying? Like Okay. I, no, no, the joint is fine. Don't get me wrong. Like I, I'm, I'm judging it strictly on the bars. Like again, I hold Sean up to a standard. He's one of the nicer cats, you know. what I'm saying in this gen, and I'm, I'm gonna give him his, his respect, dude. But this, this, you can put J Cole, Kendrick, and mm -hmm. Aubrey on this track. They can all have the same delivery, the same cadence, the same. Mm -hmm. Not maybe not the wordplay may not be as crisp, cause Sean Sean went he went on this he went ham. Yeah, I'm just saying like yeah, he went in. I look at I judge him based off he tells me he's in that top three. I'm trying to I'm looking for ways to where he can separate himself. This okay. doesn't separate himself because J Cole would have obliterated this too with the same type of cadence. Bebo P. That's why right. I was somewhat disappointed. Like I wanted to see. I wanted to hear Big Sean come a completely different way. Not, it it can be the same type of production. I'm not saying I'm not even saying like boom bap, no sample. Like I'm not saying that. I wanted to see him come different because I've heard this style. I mean I've heard. I mean Migos a takeoff would have yeah. would have busted this joint up. Mm -hmm. Pause. No Diddy, just like Sean did. So there's no disrespect to Sean. I'm just judging it based off. I'm, I'm, I'm putting all, everything in a box. I'm looking at delivery, cadence, bars, swag, all that. All four of those, I've already heard other dudes come exactly like that. There's nothing unique about this joint. I can't put Sean in that category, man. Dang. Because I feel like he don't need to prove a point. Like, this is like him trying to prove a point. Yeah, I can do it too. And it's like, oh, I can bro, snap. Like, I can snap like them. So let me snap and go hard. You can snap on something. You can snap a completely different way. Like, give me something different. Mm -hmm. Give me something unique. 
You ain't got to go Afro beats. You can bar out, but give me something. You know what I'm saying? Give me something different, people. P. That's all I ask. What, so I'm what judging kind of, this uh, a little bit differently. What kind of style would you have liked to have heard him on in order to stand out in a more uh, different slash superior way? Like, well, you know, you like I, I would hear? say how he came on that June, June uh, and Alchemist joint. Okay. June and Alchemist. And he had he had a flip of the flow on that one too. Yeah, yeah. he flipped the flow up, and. That tempo, Bebo P, was not was not that different from what he was on in the June. The drum Facts. pattern was just Facts. different. Mm. Right. But the tempo was relatively very similar. So I just mm. feel like Sean could have like I've heard I've heard Sean come on tracks, man. Pause again, no Diddy. No Diddy. Where he is switching up the delivery. He is coming with like something. He's being Sean. He's being unique. You know what I'm saying? I feel like this. Like again, if I can't differentiate you from Takeoff, from <laughs> from Cole, from Drake, they all have rap just like this. Mm-hmm. Like, give me something that's unique to Big Shine. We need Big. This don't sound like a typical Big Shine joint. It sounds like Big Shine rapping and going hard, but sounding like other dudes. Like that. That was my biggest takeaway. That was my okay. biggest disappointment. So the production joint. was fine. It was oh, just production more... was cool. Okay, so yeah, you're okay. So you're just saying, hey, Sean, great job. But yeah, it was more like I expected more been from Big Sean. Up and, in a and, and, way. and it okay. sounds like overly critical, but okay. just because it's Big you Sean. can you can remove Sean off the song and put mm-hmm. J Cole on there, it's gonna. It's, it's almost as that, that same. same first first person shooter. Uh, yeah, kind we've of already flow, heard you know, dudes yeah. come this way, like. Yeah. Come with something different. We, we've already heard the first person shooter. They torn off this sound. Like, Basically. B, what on, you think? Know. <clears throat> I think Big Sean released a pretty good first single to me. Um, like uh, like you said uh, at the beginning of this topic, Iceberg, it has that sampled uh, three six mafia pop mm-hmm. my collar pop wavy my beat color. with Sean riding on it with almost no breaths in certain cases at he times. Killed it. Effortlessly. He killed it. Um, at the yep. same time, I do agree with Jay Camp in that it would have been nice to hear him um, in, in a slightly different or with a slightly different presentation uh, that allowed him to stand out uh, from what the norm is in and of himself, basically echoing the same uh, same message that Jay Camp had communicated. Uh, but overall, this is a pretty feel-good track it with is. him acknowledging yeah. he had lived some – 20 odd years in the in the hood before currently living away from that environment uh successfully dodging the hate that comes his way and mostly going off on the feeling when and why he's up you know basically coming up way way up in his life uh so you know peace to big sean and uh, i think there was like five producers that crafted this track so you know salute to them as well um yeah, they, you know they nice, helped man. to support craft a, in crafting a dope single for for him and uh oh the visuals Ooh. for precision as well were pretty dope too by onda so uh salute oh, to that's... onda as well but iceberg share us uh, well your said, thoughts B-B-B. brother i oh, likewise Very bro well what you think iceberg is it is it a dud is it a stud is it a <laughs> is it a uh-oh uh-oh Oh, oh man. A, hard on this joint, a, man. We had we a, a constipated fart. one. That's the we constipated one. Right there, you know. That's the one. That <laughs> Iceberg hit it so many times. That's the one where you had to keep yeah. going back multiple times to hit that stall. <laughs> this, is, this is the thing, man. And put this, your hand on your back yeah. and everything. Oh. <laughs> Don't go in there for 45, 45 minutes. 45, 45, 45 minutes. Um, and, man, this is the thing, man. I put Big Sean on, again, who was he found by? He was found by... The Don Dada, you know what I'm saying? Yay, you know what I'm saying? Crazy yay. Uh, he wants to be on the level of Kenny, Drake, J. Cole. Again, I got to go with Jay Kent, man. That flow is just used up, man. Like, that flow, like, hey, man, we know you can do that. Hey, man, honestly, I would have loved for him to really make a really dope club bank. But that was hardcore for the dudes in the club. You know what I'm saying? Almost like some bone crusher, uh, uh, 42 Doug, de- representing Detroit heavy. I think he's been out in L.A. too much. And it's like, man, I got to make something that's going to basically uh, 
BDS, man. You know what I'm saying? On the radio, I gotta make something that's on on that basically in the same vein as as my competitors. And I think he should have just went straight Detroit with it, man. Like, dude, okay. go downtown, shoot the Detroit joint, go to the Ford factory. You know what I'm saying? Go crazy and do okay. something for Detroit. Again, with Detroit Lions being almost close to, to being in the Super Bowl, you got to represent Detroit. This is what this should have been just him walking through Detroit, hard as hell, pause, no ditty. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we were the first ones on that ditty, by the way, y'all. Y'all talking about some other stuff, and there's another person that we talk about who's going to be next, too. But the whole thing here, man, is Big Sean, I would have loved to hear him do something crazy. Because, again, we hear all the female rappers doing the club records, having fun, doing the talking same about thing. everything. And all the yeah, dudes is talking about, thing. like, I'm depressed and I want to be right. the number one dude. Hey, man, honestly, man, it would have been dope to see him really just represent Detroit, go out there, shoot something that represents the city. I think this is cool, but... We we not gonna be talking about this in two weeks, you know what I'm saying? Real talk. So, uh, but salute the big shot. That's our people. You know what I mean? Let me ask you this, Iceberg, because um, it, it doesn't sound like you you have a gripe with the production either. Um, at the same time, do you think that maybe him going to a different producer or producers could have this thing, helped this with has that, like a metro? No, this has nothing to do with production. This is just okay. the wrong single nah, for him to come the, back. The, 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 beat, okay. the beat was dope. This is the wrong one. The beat was dope. Yeah, yeah it's silly. Okay. I mean, I, I, I agree, um, Iceberg. To me, it's like the reverse, like you said, of what the shorties is doing right now. They mm -hmm. have the yeah. same joint. Every yeah. sing, It's like a duplicated song. And yeah. I feel like all Big Sean did was duplicate what... <laughs> Yeah, we've heard it what before. What Cole has been doing, like yeah. I've heard it before, man. Like, yeah. like Iceberg said, like shoot, shoot a video in Detroit, and it sounds like we hate. The joint no, is dope. Hating, like I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm. The, nah. the joint is solid. Like it's nothing against the song. If we would have heard this earlier in the year, earlier in 2023, we're like okay. Yeah. Before yeah. every other dude right. was rapping over beats like this, I mean, you can put. And, and this thing, JK, you might be it's right. This, this might be thing. old record though. You might be right, Jim Kim. This might be an old record. It could be. It could be. I think uh, you bring up a good point to uh, J Camp uh, some minutes back where um, it would have been one thing if this was just kind of a standard for a single and, you know, you weren't putting yourself on some, you know, a pedestal. But if you're comparing yourself or placing yourself in the modern day big three, then, yeah, that kind of changes the dynamics a bit, too. You need and that, flame. And yeah, you need something <laughs> extra flame that stands out. <laughs> Uh, from the rest, so and I then maybe come back to this one too. You know, yeah, what I mean? yeah. And like yeah. I said, Jake, like like Jake Kim said, yeah. it sound like we hating. Sound like we the old man. Get off my line. Yeah, it's not but, even that. We just A and R. Right, right. <laughs> if I could right. A and R for him, that's what this is. Yeah. It's all love. Like I said, man, we talked about Big Sean. We talked about him. You know, include himself uh, in the big three. No. Oh. Fuck it. Segway King. <laughs> Let's just bring in the big three. Pause. You know what I'm saying? But Kenny just said, ain't no big three at all. Ain't no big three. It's just a big three. It's just me. me. Hold up. Let me play this real quick. Whole lot choose violence. Okay, let's get it up. It's time for him to prove that he's a problem. Niggas clicking up. but Hey, man, Kenny. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. Kenny snap. Kenny snapped on here, man. He, he snapped. It wasn't even it wasn't even credited on the album. Mm -mm. Hold on, man. Hold on, man. Fra fra uh, fair use act and all that, man. Even though I like, the, yeah, I like the three six version better, uh, but but Come Metro. And this thing with and it. again, like three six on that sound we just heard the mm -hmm. the the, the, the three big six has been going. yeah, man. Y'all yeah, y'all taking the swag a little bit. I see. Fair use, my knee. Fair use, my knee. 
I wish I could be in the studio when they recorded that. And it was like, yo, when this thing dropped, wheelchair Jimmy's back. <laughs> Just slap J. Cole, Drizzy. Jay can't BOP in the chat yeah. if you're rocking with us, man. Salute, man, with this little pregame, little joint. You know what I'm saying? We had to record Already. real quick for y'all. Um, salute to rocking with Fresh Out, man. You rocking with the best. Let's be clear. Uh, Jay can't BOP in the chat. Rate the bars that Kenny just dropped. And once you rate him, did he actually eat through him? Or he just pity pass slap him a little bit. Could he could could he went harder on the joint? No, did he? Or did he just give him the gasoline, dog, and just flood him, man? I mean, he gave him the gasoline. I don't think it was too, too much harder. He really paused. No, mm. did he? Did he really could have went on here? I'm not saying that he eated him. Now, nah. now nah, they can still come back. This ain't like oh. a I obliterated you. I obliterated you off the face of the earth. This ain't that type mm. of move here. But for the time and place, what did we talk about, BBOP, with Big Shine? You going to get you a joint like that to slide on? Mm -hmm. You got to, that was a very classic Kung Fu Kenny unique delivery, but barring out, it was with purpose. What did, what, what mm -hmm. did you say, BBOP? You said it's got to have some type of purpose. Like, what, <laughs> what is you trying to accomplish here? You said you win that big three. Kenny proved. Holler at your boy. <laughs> he proved holler at your boy. Because I'm about to. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I need, I need them sound effects. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's what he did. He pulled, he pulled them pants down. Uh, boy, get you a switch. Get you a switch off that Go, go tree, find bro. one. Oh, that's not big right. enough. You got a little right, one? Right, I'm gonna right. Get you, go, go find a bigger yeah. one. You know, right. Granny got you, cuz. Yeah. Right. Oh that's that, like, I'm tired of effing with you dudes i'm about to just go ahead and like challenge y'all that was he challenged them cats yeah. like all that sneak this and all that you know uh you know undercut rap no like yeah, i'm right, challenging y'all yeah. yeah. i'm gonna call your joint to the mat i'm gonna call you i'm gonna call y'all song that y'all did to the mat <laughs> is this is this the best bars you heard this year Man, Ransom got some bars. <laughs> That's pretty flame too. This okay. might be up there though, Bebo P. It's at least in my top three because of time and place and mission. Okay. He came out of nowhere. Like Iceberg said, wasn't even credited on the joint. He came out of nowhere on this type of beat. Way, way away from the steppers. <laughs> He said, you know what? I'm tired of y'all trying to. Tired of y'all talking about talking, uh, everybody yeah. talking about my record. Yeah, man. man. He just Ooh. like, let me grab let me grab this 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 switch real quick. And just bust some ass real quick. I was ready to say that Jenny my slap. I went to so, say salute that. To, salute to Kenny <laughs> though, man. I mean, uh, but as far as like rating the bars though, Iceberg, I mean, this is up there for me. Uh like I said, it's not it's not like fire and brimstone, but mission though. Like he's He's trying to say, I'm good, guys. Like, y'all can't, ain't none of y'all effing with me. And you know. This was it. precision. Let's be clear. This was precision. Like, when we won't cast a diss somebody, it's, and Joe Button said it beautifully, Aubrey may as well just sit this one out. Like, you haven't, you haven't been performing to the point. Like, your pen hasn't been performing to the point to where you can really retort. Cole can. Because Cole has been eaten. This really should yep. be a Cole Kendrick. Let the best we'll man stop. win. <laughs> let the best man win situation. Uh, and, and let the cat who's still painting his nails. Like, you you, you fall back, son. This, this, <laughs> this ain't your lane here. Big dog. Big dog time. Pause. Man. You know. Bebo P, what'd you think? Because you, you know he in the studio right now, uh, Bebo P, asking for somebody's pen. Like, Lord help me. No, I'm talking about Aubrey. Thing. And Aubrey. you see when he came out and he tried to respond, but his response yeah. was like Oh on stage. It was, it was yeah. a noble response like, Oh, I don't need to come back because I know ain't nobody messed with me. But really yeah. it's like, nah, bro, like your pen has been boo-boo this year. You kinda need to come if back. it's your pen. 
Yeah, yeah. it's just your opinion. Like, you kind of need to come back. You know? Yeah. I mean, I, I hey, think I'd rate it. on this joint, man? I'd probably rate it around... Somewhere around six or seven out of ten. Ooh, okay. uh, mm-hmm. In that okay. it's solid, but, you know, it at the same time, I think this was just like a little... Uh, Appetizer. A little tappy tap. Yeah, a little a- appetizer, a little Jimmy tappy tap. Smack. It was a little baby smack. Yeah, yeah, a little, little tap tappy yeah. tap, like on that Adam Sandler movie. Uh, no, I agree. Why it don't lose the name? And brimstone. It wasn't yeah, it, like, and brimstone. yeah, and you said that earlier, like a couple minutes ago, J. Camp. You're right. It wasn't fire and brimstone. It wasn't ether or nothing like that. It, but nah, it was I'm like a, close. it was just a, it's kind of like a warning shot, if you will. Mm. Um, so, and, and maybe it wasn't really meant to be. Um, you know that lava from the volcano uh but it was maybe just sent that you know that flare shot in the air to let it be known hey you know it's on so to speak or i'm here or whatever mm. um k-dot didn't name names but we all know he's referring to drake and j cole like like you yeah, the first person shooter doc yeah yep yeah yep. wasn't that much of a subliminal like you didn't have to guess right he was talking about right all right at all no. Yeah, I, you didn't I, I have will to go say, back and run back like for all my dogs or something to realize. Yeah, oh, he said in that one subliminal line. No, right. this was this was a this was a straight shoddy dog. This, this and a straight shoddy. He, he pulled up in a in a in a 05 Ultima dog. You know what I'm saying? With the dark tin windows, pulled it pulled the little uh, <laughs> windows down and just sprayed your mama's house. You know who it was. I'm spraying your mama's house. Never that. Uh, never that. He said he pulled Ricky up in the Chevy. Boys in the hood. Yeah, that uh, Chevy. Yeah, that boy in the hood. When he pulled out that old <laughs> rifle, uh, dog. Right. And nah, and with that hat boy, like this know, before right. pulling yeah. that shot. Ricky. Nah, you remember them? Uh, them pulled old, out that Ricky. Them old five, old four, like Chevy and Pilots. Yeah, them old four. Yeah, every every nigga had all white. Chevy and Paula with the mm-hmm. rimmed up, and oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Ball, ball tires, dog. You know what I'm saying? Straight ball tires. It might be your girlfriend's car. You know what I'm saying? Had a pink five in the yeah, cup holder. It may have a pink little right. steering wheel. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. Classic well, weed with that weed with that yeah. weed ass shirt in there. What, what's the what's the little the, the little wood the little wood balls that you put on your seat to make to make it seem like it's uh massaging you with what's <laughs> though? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> come on, man, with them old boy. Put that on there and suck it, massage me. And the dice hanging from the, yeah, the uh, dice from the mirror. Right. Come on, yeah. man. And, right. and that little Indian with the uh, uh air freshener dog and the pink right. little can, Stop. I mean the purple can. Right. With you a cr- in a crown royal bag. Yeah, a crown royal bag out there. Yeah, man. Yeah. Right, but not, this, hey, was, this uh, was a pull up though. This pull, this was a pull up though. You know what I'm saying? Up. Yeah, and, and and not the diaper pull up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. facts. Oh, uh, shout out to Metro on this uh, joint like that too, man. You know he uh, he did like you brother said, uh, utilized that. Um, what it wasn't triple six. I think that was he had sampled Easy E's Easy Does It. I think in the beginning mm-hmm. with that child vocal. You know, mm-hmm. move around the way mm-hmm. and uh, yeah. and that beat. I think that was from Everlasting Bass by uh, uh, was it Rodney O and Joe Joe Cooley. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. But yeah, salute to Metro. You know, Future and uh, obviously the man of the hour of this topic. Yeah, because Future Lamar. Because yeah, you forget he had a verse on there. He was so boo boo. You do. You well, do. And, and, and this is the thing, though. Real, real, real talk. Skid up, put up, beat. Did it? Did it? You're the worst. You almost said, Skiddy, we bop, we bop, school. <laughs> bop, bop, you bop, you bop, bop, and boo. <laughs> but this, this is the thing, though. Does Drake in. The, and we talking about Drake in, Drake in J. Cole. Yeah. You know, I, we, I consider them, you know, icons. Do they have to respond, though, J. Camp and Bebo P? And the chat. Salute everybody in the chat. Put I down, man, if, if you think they, they have to respond to this. Or is it like, you know what, man, the dude just letting it off because, he man, he dropped that little doo-doo album and it, uh, slow, soul roller joint. I agree with J-Camp just to kind of piggyback on what he said earlier in that. I think it's best for Drake to just kind of fall back, you know, Ooh. personally, um, because Damn. he's just not built for, you know, a caliber of artists such as a K. He bodied Meek Mill, though. Everybody thought he wasn't going to body Meek, and he bodied Meek. Yeah, but, but you know he was more in his Meek prime at this too. time. Yeah, Meek, Meek <laughs> Meek was, Meek's Extra always been balls. an easy target too. Oh balls, man, right. Right. no did yeah. yeah. no, no did. Yeah, when he was in the pool, he, he hopping from the billionaires and millionaires, yeah, yeah, yeah. hopping like a <laughs> that right. Meek Mill too dog. Man, to be trying to yeah. say, yeah. <laughs> See, Meek Mill was too easy for him. Yeah. Pause. But yeah, uh, I think for Cole, for Cole, hitting that straight poke it. 
Never that you do the hokey pokey and you turn. <laughs> Don't ride the white horse. Horse. <laughs> no, I burnt. No, look, at, before you did it like me. <laughs> Don't ride the <laughs> white horse. Uh uh. No. Uh uh. <laughs> Don't ride the no. white horse. But uh, this was the thing, man. Now, so Cole, Drake, so now Cole, Cole can damp. Now Cole can definitely damage him real quick. But it's thing, I, I don't think. But Cole's phone mm-hmm. clothes and all that. I don't think he's in that space in his life where he wants to start beef you know what i'm saying he could if he wanted to i'm just saying like mm-hmm. yeah he's wearing he's wearing like sandals and all that he's wearing them little what's some white boy sandals man he's wearing them little joints man you know what i'm saying like uh, i don't know he wearing crocs and bull you know what i'm saying who who beats man. with crocs on hadn't stopped him I before can't, i can't think of the West, though, in the back of the bus video i can't think in birkenstocks birkenstocks man but i do, I do agree man. with man. you who beats though with too on? beep op i do agree with you that I think this really was like a warning shot, like almost mm. like testing to see who's gonna come to the carpet. Yeah, uh, yeah. Cause I, I I know Aubrey don't want that smoke. No, uh, right. And and can Cole, like I, cause K dot one of them petty dudes, cause he'll he'll stay in the mix for a while. Like how long is Cole wanting to stay in the mix, like just to keep going back and forth with joints. Uh, we we obviously know Cole can can cook. That that's yeah, that's not cook. a question. But how long is he going to stay in the kitchen to keep cooking? Well, I think Cole's been in the yeah. you know at least as far as music output you know to some degree. No, his output. I'm just saying, I mean, but yeah. staying in the actual back and forth battle though. Like how long is he willing to? You could to say serve? that about K Dot too because he he called out these big three and many others on that control verse. That he did for Big Sean back in 2013. So. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, he and called then, him you know, out by name. Kind of, <laughs> he called him out by name too. All of them. Yeah. Joint. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, and this is the thing though too, man. We know that <laughs> J Cole is working on a, a tr- trying to drop an album right this year, correct? Fall off. So, yeah. do you really want to divide my my fan base by maybe dissing somebody who loves Kenny and they say, you know what, I ain't messing with J Cole because he dissed Kenny. Is he going to basically play the political role and just say, you know what, I'm cool? The dude said something slick. I saw it good because, again, I'm thinking about album sales. I don't want to go outside like and get hit by Benny from the Bronx and bull, you know what I'm saying? Just because somebody mad at our diss Kenny. Because, again, depending on what somebody says, man, you know, you can touch somebody. You know what I'm saying? Like with the whole Nikki joint, they had people going to uh, Megan the Mule's gra- uh, mama's grave and bull. You know what I'm saying? Cats is crazy but I, now. So do you want to divide think, your fan base? I don't think this is like hate beef though i think this right. is more right. like right. sport beef this is like okay. that yeah that's we, it we 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 in the we meeting in the finals every single year like okay. one of us got to come out on top i don't i don't i think these dudes actually do respect each other i don't i they don't do. think it's like any okay. type of like it ain't like the cat fight like we see with nikki and 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 meg like i don't i don't yeah. think it's to that level at all like they beefing just because they just silly like that like I think these dudes legitimately do respect each other in the sport, but they want to be at the top of the game, which I, to me that's good for hip hop. You at least have dudes who okay. uh, want to be competitive for the crown because we got away from that for a long time. Because right. I mean, what was the last time we really had that outside of like J X, Fifty, nah, um, Eminem. It's been a long time since we had dudes like literally rapping about I'm the best. I mean, I even throw Wayne in there because Wayne was talking mm-hmm. about how ain't no best for him. Yeah. And many, many others from the 80s and 90s too. <laughs> too many to yeah. count. But yeah, I agree. Um, I totally agree with you. So I don't really have much to say from that. I mean, I think Jay Camp spoke on that so uh, perfectly. Yeah. Well, this thing, I, I don't think – I don't think Drake wants them problems. I think again, man, these all these dudes getting money in it. This ain't no money thing. This ain't this ain't respect thing. I really just I think they really just don't like each other, man. And again, um, well, <laughs> Iceberg went that way. <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah, I I think they maybe really they don't. don't like you, each other. You could you know be right. Could be. Uh, I, I don't so. sense it. I don't sense it from these dudes that they just hate each other at least. Yeah, yeah. I think at the end of the day, it's sport. But they may, they may not like each other. Who well, knows? And this is oh, the thing I, I don't mean, I don't mean they need to be best friends. Like it's a True. lot of cats who play in the same arena. Paul's no Diddy, but yeah. they ain't best friends. They respect each other as uh, competitors, but that's it. That's that's as far as it goes. 
Well, and this is the thing, man. Like, salute to them brothers, man. I, they're going to work salute. it out, man. Hopefully, it's nothing crazy, man. You know, salute. We got mad love for all three. Oh, okay. But Jay Kent, man, Segway King, he said, no diddy. <laughs> Where is it? Where'd you get this picture from? It's like he's in a <laughs> coffin or something. With it. Like the mortician got to him. That's the worst face. Oh, remember, baby, head. like that. I hey, man, this is like the thing, white man. diddy, like a white version, a Caucasian version of diddy. <laughs> diddy. <laughs> diddy? You know what I'm saying? First of all, let's be clear, man. Uh, where the hell is this nigga, man? We, nobody knows where he's at. Hold up, man. Where in somebody the world does. is Astro Glide the Diddy Doom? Hold up. Somebody know where he is. You got some visitors, dog. Uh, uh, you the worst of that, though. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, fair use act. Oh man, you got some visitors, dog. First of all, that was Jay Kemp uh, was shooting the footage when they, uh, he was overseas. Oh man, you got some visitors, dog. <laughs> nah, I just... that large present. New video: Diddy slowly pacing outside. And they got them Papa Smurf pants man, on too. Got them, uh, got Miami's their cocaine private wall. jet facility yeah. at 3 p.m. yesterday. Via <laughs> fair TMZ, use. As Homeland Security raided mansions oh. on both coasts. From his 35 mil First of all, nigga, both, both houses. This right. is by coastal Because he's by. Billion dollar waterfront estate in Florida to Beverly Hills. I'm outside Diddy's $40 million pad. $40 million? I got money. It's quiet now, but yesterday, media, SWAT vehicles, dozens so of armed officials and that. investigators <laughs> descended on the property, seizing boxes of evidence and putting his son's. First of all, you know how pissed off I'll be if these niggas put their dusty boots on my on my carpet? Christian and Justin in handcuffs. <laughs> yo, damn, your kids <laughs> got locked up. <laughs> niggas taking pictures of them. Look, did y'all see the fans taking pictures of the dude? They were reportedly detained and released. So what does this raid mean for Diddy and any evidence against him? Law enforcement had enough to get the search warrant. They may be even have enough to get an indictment, and if so, I expect Diddy to be arrested in a matter of days. So let's be clear: you raid, you can raid my house, houses, and there's no arrest warrant. Hey man, J. Kent, Bebo, P in the chat, man. Last topic, man, before we get up out of here. What do y'all think about the raids? Do you think, I mean, again, a lot of people don't have no remorse for Diddy because he was doing so much uh, bussying. But again, he is a black man. We know what they were kind of going there, up in there looking for because it's a sex joint. Mm -hmm. What y'all think about the raids when y'all saw it? And is it a Rizzy official Reynolds rap for Sus Diddy? Man, that's a great question because with the raid itself, I mean, they didn't really come, they didn't, they didn't have nothing. I mean, this Facts, man, he's still a free man. You know what I'm saying? Like, he can travel overseas. He can do anything he want to do. Like, there was no arrest. And allegedly, he's cooperating with with authority. So, I mean, we know there's, there's, there's smoke to this one. Like, I, I don't even think you have to guess. But... At the end of the day, you do have to have something tangible. I mean, if you, the alphabet boys, I mean, you got to have something tangible in hand to bring this man down. Like, I'm not, I'm not saying that oh, yeah. I, I want him out here walking around the streets, but facts. I also, like, if you don't have reasonable doubt in any type of, in, in anything in Palm to say, we got yeah. you, bro, yeah. it then it looks like, like what his lawyer said, it looks like a witch hunt Fact, on the yeah. surface, Fact. Fact. on the surface. But that's not saying that there isn't something somewhere. I'm not saying that. I'm not accusing Diddy. I'm not saying that he should be free. I'm not protecting him either. I'm just saying that nothing was found, though. So until you find something, I mean, unfortunately, Sus is going to be walking around here, Bebo P, without much worry. And they and right now nobody knows where he's at. By the way, yeah, I mean this. Uh, either way you look at it, this is a real bad look for Diddy. 
Mm -hmm. um, legally, and even if not legally, let's just say for the sake of argument, let's push aside the legal ramifications. Um, from a public relations standpoint, from the networks and circles that he runs with, they're not going to want to associate themselves with him, um, especially in a heated moment such as this with everything still developing per the date of this recording, which is uh, March 26th of uh, 2024. Um, but yeah, uh, this is what, you know, all of Diddy's actions, um, more so unscrupulous actions, um, whether alleged or otherwise, it's his actions or lack thereof have led to this point. And when it comes to them, them alphabet boys, you know, in this case, Homeland Security, but any one of those government uh, alphabet boys, uh, folks like that is not coming at your doorstep without a reason. So um, they've been looking into him at least for a few months, if not a few or several years, at least a few months. And they likely had some grounds to um, make the charge. Now, I know that um, it was weird for to be Homeland Security as opposed to maybe say the FBI or whatever. But nonetheless, that, I thought they were um, odd too. Be both. Yeah, for yeah. Sure. But again, this this story's uh, developing. But Fresh Out and Cat Williams told y'all so. After right. all these years, we told y'all something right. was very sus about. Uh, well, the person and that's not to say here. though they do got plenty of court orders though, Iceberg. It's a it's a lot of stuff sitting on the court docket, with some mm. nasty stuff in it. So I'm mm, not saying yeah. that we know there's smoke, there's something, but I I don't know why they didn't have the FBI. I saw that iceberg. That. <laughs> well, this is the thing though. Uh, and this is exclusive. Y'all gonna hear about this later on this week or whatever. We are gonna talk about it more, man. Uh. We got top five uh, rap website coming through, man. Salute. He's going to be on a Wednesday. Uh, but this is the thing. They were looking for hard drives. Because, again, most people, like, the thing of it is, he's had people at his house. Computer speak. <laughs> um, but the whole thing is, like, this is what people don't understand. Rich people, they don't have hard drives. They have all their cameras live streaming to another country. So, nigga, you can't get my hard drive. Pause. No diddy. So, again, they went in there looking for something, and they don't have it. They don't have nothing. You might have some naked pictures of diddy. But that's it. And Man. also, let's be clear. The Candace <laughs> Owens situation, it wasn't Stop because it. she went on Breakfast Club and said something about the little hats. She went on, she's been on her platform at the time, the Daily Wire situation, and she was talking about Diddy and the CEO of Universal Music Group. That's why she gone. So again, they didn't find nada, nothing. Uh, we're gonna talk about this more though, man, but what's your guys' final thoughts real quick before we get up out of here? With Sus Diddy. And you know this thing, we had the sound effect first. All I have to say is I mean, stay tuned, but we ahead, told people. you so. Yeah. That's all. Stay tuned, but Fresh this, Out told you so. This ain't over, BBOP. This is just... Not, a, not by a long the, shot. The, fir the first step, I mean, I, I think the government has shown, the feds has shown their hand <laughs> on this one. Yep. You know, they, they come in hell or high water. They're not going to embarrass oh, yeah. themselves. You know, regardless of how weak this first raid looks it's gonna be something because they still interviewing people too oh yeah it only takes the one person to tell you what something is that so stay tuned stay yeah tuned. stay tuned on the, on the diddy joint man this is moving because again the dude ain't in custody they basically caught him at the airport trying to slither his way out of there he's still out but again also if they were looking for the epstein footage they don't have it and again, his plane, his private jet, flew to some little uh, Hilton little island in Bull. 
They ain't got no extradition type joint. You know what I'm saying? You can't extradite them joints. So maybe them hard drives is over there. Who knows? Again, stay tuned to Fresh Out, man. Oh, <laughs> Don't, Don't bust do that joint yet. Stay on the Fresh Out. We're going to know what's going on with Diddy down here looking like a more, uh, little corpse and bull. Looking like Weekend at the Diddy down there. Weekend at the Diddy. Looking like Weekend at the Diddy. Weekend at the Diddy. Right. <laughs> It is looking like weekend at Disney. <laughs> you like that, the man. Uh, instead of the Riddler, the Dead Love. Uh, don't, 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 looking like don't, Jackie don't, Long don't, down there. Paul. It's, it's the Dead Love. Yeah, it's the Dead Love. <laughs> so, but again, man, stay tuned, man. We just gave y'all a little something, man. Y'all ain't seen y'all three of us together, man. So, mm-hmm. salute to all the fans, man, out salute there, man. J. Kent, Bebo P, Iceberg, man. Take us home, y'all. Man, a salute to the people, man. Glad to be back in this joint. You know, glad to be rocking out with my fresh out brothers. Glad to be rocking Likewise, out with the bro. people. Man, it feels so good to be back in the building, man. But definitely check us out tomorrow, as Iceberg said. We're going to go in tomorrow. We're going to definitely talk about this again tomorrow, man. So we can in let depth loose too. a little Pause. bit. Pause. Yeah. In depth. In depth. In depth. <laughs> but uh, salute, to, salute to the peoples, though. Bebo yeah, P, salute. take us home, yeah. my G. Paul. Like you said, I, uh, <laughs> complete. Right. <laughs> yeah, uh, much love to y'all out there. And um, prayers up for all parties victimized from the Baltimore Francis Scott King oh, Bridge man. collapse from the cargo boat um, collision. You know, fresh out hearts and prayers go out to the victims as well as the families and loved ones of, you know, all who have suffered because of that tragedy. So, you know, again, prayers up. And uh, shout out to all all those who support us out there and rock with us um, on this episode, as well as the haters, too. Shout out to y'all. Um, rock with us on the next episode of Fresh Out. Uh, so with that said, please be safe. Rock with Fresh Out next rip. And um, catch us next time. You know, the Amen. bad boys of this space. We'll catch y'all soon. Uh, Amen. Episode peace, God 259. Bless, Ain't no big three. It's just me. <laughs> it's just J. Camp. You already Bebo know. P. Yep. Iceberg, man. We out, man. See y'all, man. Peace. Peace. Peace, 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 peace. Your mama grew up on it. <laughs> <laughs>